Hi, this is a quick video for seouk.com. We're going to look at how to edit the hosts file in Windows because with some of the recent updates there is now, uh, for some people, they're having problems saving the hosts file. Basically, if you still can't save the file without it saving as a text file, then there is a user restriction uh, permission issue going on that seems to have come up in recent or been introduced in recent Windows 7 and Windows 8 service pack updates. So that's what we're going to have a look at in this video. Okay, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're logged in as a user that has admin privileges. Next, what we're going to do is bring up Windows Explorer and we're going to go to our local disk, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC. That's the a series of folders that we're going to go through and we'll end up in this folder here where we can see the hosts file. Okay, the first thing we can do is right click on the hosts file itself and choose properties and make sure the read only tick box here is unticked, click apply and then click OK. Now at that point you may well be able to edit the host file. If you are, great. If not, then there's a couple more steps we need to go through. We're going to right click on the hosts file again and go back to properties. This time we're going to go to the security tab and what we're actually going to do is go to the advanced tab. Uh, we end up with quite a few windows open here. I'm not sure why they've designed it quite like this. Um, but what we want to do is check the permissions for the user that we're using as the administrator user. Uh, I'm actually going to look at the user just called users. Uh, let's click on change permissions for that and it brings up another box what I need to do is choose the user from this list and click on edit. So let's actually have a look at the administrator first. If I click on edit on this, you'll see that everything is ticked. That's how it should be so you can get access to everything. Uh, the user that you're logged on as might not have that uh, showing as everything ticked. So for instance here, I've only got these four ticked and I actually want full control. So if I tick the box for allow on full control, it ticks all the others for me. Okay, so that's what you need to make sure that you have set up for the user that you're logged on as so that you can actually edit the hosts file. However, there's one other thing we need to do as well. So let's click on OK here. What we're going to do is click on Add and I'm going to type in everyone. So just the word everyone here and click on OK. And when that comes up, I'm going to tick the box for Allow, click on OK. Then I'm going to click on Apply, it'll give me a warning, click on Yes, and click OK, and click OK, and click OK, back through the menu system, we're back to our host file, and you should now be able to edit that without it only being able to save as a text file. And don't forget these changes to the host file, they are purely to speed things up, they don't have to be done to get WP Simulator running on localhost, uh, it's just something that does speed the, the whole system up for you. Okay, so if you want to have a look at that, obviously you can go to uh, WP Simulator and check out WP Sim if you haven't already had a look at it. Uh, it shows you how to get up and running on localhost to use WordPress locally. Okay, that's how to change your permissions on Windows 7 and 8 if you're having problems editing the host file. Hope you found it useful. Please feel free to watch our other videos. Thanks very much.